It's hard to believe that it's 18 years since Toyota first marketed its petrol electric hybrid, the Prius. Since then, more than 3.5 million have been sold, so it's worth taking the new fourth generation model seriously. And here it is, looking as distinctly Prius-y as ever. This new model is longer and wider than before, but with a lower roof line. It also has some really neat styling details like these fins at the back, which make it stand out compared with its predecessor. As with the previous Prius, the boot of this new model is large but shallow, although that does at least mean you get a level loading bay when you fold the rear seats. Given how many taxi drivers have adopted the Prius over the years, space in the back is particularly important. So it's a little bit annoying that this roof line is quite so low because it makes you have to tuck down when you get in. But once in, space is really good. This driver's seat's set for me. I'm five foot 11 and there's lots of leg room as you can see. Headroom's fine. And you can get a third person across here in the middle. It's not too bad. The only thing I would say is these materials feel a bit basic, although that does mean they should be hard wearing. Speaking of cheap, Toyota's sat-nav really is poor by modern standards. Thankfully, the rest of the dash is really striking, particularly in this two-tone finish of our test car. You get a two-tier display with speedo and other information up here and sat-nav and audio down here, and that helps to add to the really light and airy feeling that you get in a Prius. The driving position has lots of adjustments, so it's easy to get comfortable, and the seats themselves are more supportive than in the old Prius. Rather than try and reinvent its hybrid system, Toyota has instead optimized what was already there. So you get a revised version of the 1.8 litre petrol engine, plus two electric motors that are smaller and lighter than before. In America and Japan, the new Prius uses a lithium ion battery, but European cars continue with a nickel metal hydride unit mounted under the rear seats. Toyota argues this is proven technology, and that's backed up by the number of mega high mileage Prius taxis you see driving around. However, it also means that you can't drive very far or very fast until petrol power kicks in. So if silent running is your priority, then a plug-in hybrid such as the Audi A3 e-tron is going to be a better bet. In the old Prius, it always felt like the accelerator and the drivetrain were connected via a rubber band, but this new model is much more direct. 0-60 takes 10.6 seconds, so it's still not fast, but there's enough initial shove from the electric motor to make it feel quite nippy in town at least. In town is also where the Prius is at its most efficient which is what marks it out from a diesel. We've been getting about 55 miles per gallon for city driving, which falls to about 50 on the open road. The official fuel economy figure is 94 miles per gallon, which is astonishing. And with CO2 emissions of 70 grams per kilometer, it will all help keep running costs in check. The new Prius also rides the bumps a lot better than the old model, and the steering is much more direct. It's still not a fun car to drive, but it is a big improvement. The other thing to note about the Prius is that the brakes can be a bit grabby at low speeds as they harvest energy for the battery. It was the original Prius that popularised the hybrid concept, and this new model is easily the best yet. With prices starting at just over £23,000, it's not cheap, but it is packed with safety equipment and should be unwaveringly reliable. And so while other cars of a similar size might be more enjoyable to drive or cheaper to buy, the Toyota's combination of low running costs and the fact that it's very comfortable means that there is still much here to admire. If you click up here, you can see our review of the Audi A3 e-tron plug-in hybrid. Click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you click down here, it will take you to the Telegraph Cars website.